Uh, what we want to do is go back into the, the parent and student handbook again, where you were in the iBooks app. And a couple more things we'll talk about before we let you go here. Let's swipe twice over. Um, we're going to talk about some of the, uh, the major black and white policies, some of the, the severe restrictions, or not restrictions, but common sense uh, laws that have been put in place for the use. Swipe, swipe over one more time, get to these actions are strictly prohibited. These actions would um, carry very, very harsh consequences, very severe consequences as they are uh, severe violations. So I'll read through these quickly. You can follow along. Uh, these are very important, so uh, make sure to follow along. Any action that violates existing board policy or public law, sending, accessing, uploading, downloading, or distributing offensive, explicit, profane, threatening, pornographic, obscene, or sexually explicit materials, um, that's not only a violation of school policy, it's federal law. Uh, pictures, video, and audio recordings of any staff member without written consent. Again, just make sure and ask. Uh, pictures, video, and audio recordings of any student without consent. Just ask. Pictures, video, and audio recordings of any student or staff member at any time in locker rooms or restrooms. Again, just don't bring them there. Be smart. If you're not sure something is okay or not okay, just ask. The use of chat rooms and site selling term papers book reports, and other forms of student work, vandalism, any malicious attempt to harm or destroy hardware, software, or data, including but not limited to the uploading or creation of computer viruses or computer programs that can infiltrate computer systems and or damage software components. Um, that again is of school equipment. That's not allowed. That includes jailbreaking. Uh, there's, when I, the new iOS comes out in about a month, uh, the, the, the hackers out there will work will work very hard to get a jailbreak for iOS 6. Um, if you jailbreak your device, that's considered vandalism, that's considered messing with school property. So that's a severe violation. Transmitting or accessing materials that are obscene, offensive, threatening, or otherwise intended to harass or demean recipients. Again, be smart with the camera, be smart with what you post online. Um, by, by, bypassing the Wilmer Public Schools web filter through a web proxy while you're at the school, Anything you access through the internet, through this device, goes through our filter. That is required by federal law for us to have a filter in place on the internet. Um, if you try to turn on a hotspot on your phone, or you somehow have a 3G connection, or something like that, and go around our filter while at school, that is considered a violation. That will be dealt with severely. Again, when you go home, those filters do not exist at home. We can't filter it at home. But be smart, if we find something that violates any of these rules that happened at home, it's considered as happening in school. It's the same thing, it's a school device, just be smart. Okay? Uh, messaging services or non-educational social networks at school includes, but not limited to, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, um, there are more every day. Spamming, sending mass or inappropriate emails, again, make sure that password lock is on, because if it happens on your pad, it's your responsibility. Gaining access to other students' accounts, files, and or data. Use of schools' internet email accounts for financial or commercial gain or for any illegal activity. Giving out personal information for any reason over the internet. This includes, but is not limited to, setting up internet accounts, including those necessary for chat rooms, eBay, email, etc. Keep all that stuff off of the pad. Participation in credit card fraud, electronic forgery, or other forms of illegal behavior. Those are the very scary ones. Be smart. 